Welcome back, Game Maker. How to make an object fire exactly every one second using counters instead of alarms. So you'll see here I have a tower in my room. Let's go uh, right to that tower object here and let's code it in. Now this way is a little longer than alarms, but it shows you uh, programming ideas that you would generally use in other languages if you didn't have this uh, built-in alarm feature. So here we go. Let's create event of our tower. Let's give this tower a counter. And this counter, I'm going to start it at zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the counter build up. When it hits a certain number, that's when I'm going to fire. And as long as I uh, fire at the right number, then everything should work. Now in the step event, which is happening all the time, we can add a little code. And since this step event is happening 30 times a second, it would be convenient just to go counter equals counter plus one. And then ask a quick question. If the counter has hit 30, then I'm going to run my code. I'm going to create my object that I'm going to fire. X comma Y, a ball. Let's give it some speed. Let's give it a direction. And really important here, put the counter back to zero. If you don't put that counter back to zero, you're just going to keep on counting 31, 32, 33, 34. You're never going to get the 30 again, and this will never happen. So this part right here is really important. For those that have already seen the video of doing this with an alarm, this is basically what an alarm is doing in the background. It's just a variable counting away, and when it hits a certain value, bam. You run your code, and then if you want, you can set the alarm back on again so the counter goes back down to zero. Let's see this in action. One, two, three, four. Look at that. You can set your watch by that. Anyways, that's how you do it, using a counter and a little bit of code. Thanks for watching.